Hello guys, welcome, 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 welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get screwed. So the brake booster disconnected. Where is that at? Uh, we're here at Hasport tonight, here with the Eibach CRZ. We're getting ready to convert it to a hybrid. Now, I know you're thinking this was already a hybrid, but back in the day, we used to call a hybrid anything with a VTEC motor swap or an Acura motor swap. And that's what we're gonna do with the Eibach CRZ. We've not done one of these cars before, so we're starting off carefully. This has a battery pack in the back that works on over 100 volts, so with manual in hand, we are going to remove the battery pack and then remove the motor. We started off by turning off the power to the hybrid battery pack, disconnecting it from the motor, and now we're gonna go back in and disconnect all the wires so we can pull the battery pack, and then that should pretty much make it just a straightforward engine drop. This is out. A lot of people compare this car to the 8891 CRX SI. I actually prefer to compare it to the 84 to 7 uh, Civic. It has strut front suspension. It has only about 110 horsepower. And the rear beam suspension is also very similar. Let me show you what that looks like. The rear suspension on this is a beam suspension. It actually looks more like a swing arm. You have the pivot point up front here, then you have a cross piece that goes back and then two kind of trailing links back that come back here to where the spindles bolt to. Notice that the shock is way at the back. That actually helps quite a bit. If you look at the early Insight and the first gen fit, they have their shock a little too far forward. So you get a lot of axle movement for the amount of dampening you get. So it's not really that effective. I would imagine that the Civic Type R in Europe has the same setup where the damper is back behind where the axle is. And that means that for every inch of travel here, you're gonna get a little more than an inch of travel here on the shock. And that works out to be a much better control. But again, this is a straight beam axle, very similar to what you find on the 84 to 7. The 88 to 91 has double wishbone front and rear, even though the rear wishbone is kind of a modified, you know, swing arm. Do we take fluids out and stuff, or? We should have. <laughs> we gotta do, we gotta pull the, uh, we gotta take fluids out of the car. Should have done that before we did anything else. That's ground clearance. That's how it's gonna sit. Then on that side over there, we're gonna put our normal, our normal mount that goes on top of the transmission and then just figure out where those three bolt holes are that hold that mount to that frame rail. And then we'll make a bracket that kind of cascades and goes down and hangs onto our, our mount. And then once all that's done, we'll, we'll, we'll use the 06 Civic SI oil pan so that we can use that style of rear mount. And then we'll just figure out where, you know, how to make it fit with this uh, subframe. 
This particular one happens to be the same as the 06 Civic, so you just use the 06 Civic cables and we'll just make new brackets to uh, attach them to the transmission. Coming up, Brian breaks down the process of designing the mounts and brackets to fit that K-Series engine into the CRZ.